Codex and color samples, let's talk about it. So the word codec is actually short for compressor decompressor or compression decompression, something like that. And it's usually given three number values, 444, 422, or 420. The first four always standing for the luma value and the other two standing for chroma values. Now, the easiest way that I could explain this is with these XLR cables that I have laying around. You have a bunch, it might seem like a lot to manage, but that's because this is in a 444 codec per se. The top row being a four, the bottom row being a four. That's why it's a four, four, four. First four being a luma, second four being first row, second four being bottom row. Let's say you reduce it to a four, two, two. There we go, it's a little simpler, a little easier to manage. We have two on the top row, two on the bottom row. Four, mean the luma, and then a two and a two. Now, if we wanna go even slimmer and go to a four, two, zero, it would look like this. Four on the luma, two on the top row, zero on the bottom row, and this will be the slimmest codec for your memory card. Some people like to film in a 420. I prefer a 422, but if you're really stepping it up and you have the memory to do it, maybe do a 444. Anyways, I hope you got something from this and learned a little bit about colors and how they compress and decompress in your footage. If you like this, subscribe, comment. I'll do anything you guys want. Well, not everything, but try me. Anyways, I'll see you on the next one.